I'd like to also now uh, give you a little bit of information. It's my pleasure to introduce someone else who is a remarkable scholarship recipient. Tatiana Abdul Noor just completed her first year of medical school at the CHSU College of Osteopathic Medicine. She's originally from Southern California and attended UC Merced for her undergraduate education. There she integrated herself within the community, volunteering with the Center of Vision Enhancement, a program dedicated to serving the visually impaired. She volunteers annually with the Lebanese Red Cross to bring medical aid to refugees and Lebanese citizens affected by the political unrest. Tatiana is currently working with Omni Family Health to initiate a home and at home blood pressure monitoring program which integrates health, education, medicinal intervention, and mental health awareness to help those suffering from essential hypertension in the Central Valley. She currently tr serves as treasurer for the pediatric interest group at CHSU. Tatiana received a Valley Healthcare Education Foundation scholarship, which recognized outstanding medical students who are dedicated to serving the Central Valley. Let's watch a short video. Hi, my name is Tatiana Abdenor, and I'm from Seal Beach, California. In high school, my mom had endometrial cancer, and then a year later, breast cancer. So she came in from a whole different country, speaks a whole different language. So then I did whatever I could to kind of go to some appointments, help her do my own research. And I was, you know what? I think medicine is how I can help people. I think there's so much to being a DO that you can really help people in ways that maybe traditional medicine can't always help you. You know, physical touch, we're humans, we like touch. So knowing that your physician is putting their hands on you and you feel like that's helping and there's a certain level of empathy and kindness that comes from it that I feel like you don't always get from traditional medicine, it just made DO all the better for me. If we can make a difference and bring more doctors into this world, I think it would better everyone. I'm sure when you're sick and you need someone, you definitely want a doctor there that is compassionate and driven and is really geared towards their goals. And so you can help fund someone's dream where all they want to do is just help people and better the world. And I don't think that there's a better place that you could put your money than towards helping other people. Help me welcome Tatiana. All right, hello, welcome. <laughs> um, first, I just wanna start by saying what an honor it is to be here standing in front of you guys speaking today. Um, I wanna thank you for taking the time to support our school and our students and our community. It really means the most to us here in the Central Valley. So like the video said, uh, my name is Tatiana Abdenor. I'm an osteopathic medical student, class of 2025. Um, I'm a first generation American and I wouldn't be where I am today without the help of my family and my friends um, and donors like yourself. That's what brings me here. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my journey towards medicine. Um, since I'm first generation, my family is 100% Lebanese, and so I go back to Lebanon once a year if I can to kind of help you with my family. I've done that ever since I was a kid. Um, but when I was nine years old, it was a little bit of a different experience. There I experienced the 2006 bombing of Beirut. So for me, coming from Orange County, as a young girl, you know, what are, what are my biggest fears? There's, there's not that much, you know? So experiencing that and seeing those bombs drop really shook my world and it really resonated with me. And I remember laying there when I woke up and everything was just like shaking around me and I had no idea. And my dad turns and looks at me and he goes, oh, don't worry, they're not bombing us. And I couldn't comprehend that. I was like, how could you be so calm about this? So that for me was the first experience where I realized, you know, I don't want to be just a bystander. Like, I need to do something. I need to help. I just didn't know how I was going to do that yet. Um, and like the video said, in 2013, my mom had endometrial cancer and then a year later, breast cancer. So again, coming from first generation, my parents didn't have that. The language barrier was there, the lack of communication, the never having anyone in our family with cancer. You know, that's a big word. So I wanted to do whatever I could to try and help and support her. And I realized, you know, I can help people. And I think I can help people through medicine. And that kind of brought me through my journey there. I was very grateful and honored to have a pediatrician in my life who was absolutely incredible, so much so that in my gap year, she hired me on to work with her. So I got the most amazing opportunity and experience to get to be with her, really see family medicine and primary care in like the most perfect way, someone who was empathetic and caring and kind and considerate and was just the best kind of physician she could be. And so that inspired me to want to do the same. 
for my undergrad, I also attended UC Merced. Um, so there I really got to experience the Central Valley and everything that came with it because I'm originally from Southern California. So when I first found out about CHSU, I was like, I'm coming right back up to the cows and the allergies. This is it. We're doing it all over again. <laughs> you know, we love it, right? <laughs> um, but volunteering in an underserved community is very different than living in one, and I really got to experience that. You know, I, I started college when I was 17. What did I know? And any time I needed to find a doctor, I was like, oh, there are no primary cares here? I'm sick. What do I, where do I go? Mom, please help me. Um, so watching that and being a part of that, it's, it's a very different experience, especially Merced. It ranked top in the United States for unemployed, uneducated, and most dangerous to live in. So being a part of that really makes you realize this community is so underserved and needs so much, so much help. The Central Valley is one of the largest parts of California and has so much agriculture and character. So why is it being so underrepresented and undermined? We should be giving way more doctors here. I think especially now that we've seen with the pandemic and everything going on, we really need more doctors, and that has been made very evident. And you have so many people that are pre-meds that have done all the classes, they've done the extracurriculars, they've done everything that they can to try and become outstanding students, but the one thing standing in their way is the finances. And that, to me, is one of the saddest things to see. The reason that you can't go out and become a doctor and help others is because of that financial burden. So for me, CHSU made so, meant so much to me because I really felt like it was one of the only medical schools that really embodied its mission statement, which I'll read to you right now. To improve healthcare outcomes of people living in the Central Valley by graduating healthcare professionals who are compassionate, highly trained, and adaptive leaders who will serve in healthcare roles throughout our community. We're here to give these doctors a future and a foundation to build them up so that they can be a part of this community and help pull it back together. So like I said, it saddens me to see that so many people that want to do so much and want to help our community are unable to because of these financial burdens. It really is thanks to donors like yourself that makes our dreams a possibility and a reality. And we thank you every day for the ability to make that possible. Receiving a scholarship myself really made, yes, the financial burdens, it makes it ease, regardless of how big or small it may be. But regardless of that, besides that point, it really resonates with you to go, you know what, everything I've been doing was for a reason. It acknowledges your achievements and recognizes everything that you've done and helps you resonate that, you know what, I, I belong here. and I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. You're <laughs> Thank you. Your generosity gives medical students the encouragement to pursue our goals and allow us to, us to full heartedly focus on our future. Without you guys, we really wouldn't be able to be where we are today. And it takes more than just medical students, it's an entire team of healthcare providers and donors and people and support that really build up this area and this community. I can't stress enough the amount of appreciation we have for you all. And hopefully with your support, we can build an incredible medical community and help restore the Central Valley. Thank you.